This page is designed to help you navigate around this course. This course is based upon the APITO Authorized Gas Tester Training Standard and is designed to provide you with all of the theoretical knowledge that you need to become an authorized gas tester. This course contains the following sections. Introduction. Hazards associated with gases and vapors. Flammable atmospheres. Fire and explosions. Toxic atmospheres. Oxygen deficiency and oxygen enrichment. Hazards of confined spaces. Gas monitors. Gas testing for fire watch duties. Gas testing for hot work. Gas testing and gas leaks. Gas testing for confined space entry and gas testing during purging operations. You must complete each section before you can access the next section. You must complete all sections before you can finish the course. At the end of each section there is a short assessment. There is a final course assessment section at the very end of the course. You must pass each section to pass the whole course. When you are ready, select the next button to move on. OPITO is the industry's focal point for skills, training and workforce development. It is a self-sustaining, employer and trade union-led organization committed to developing and sustaining a safe, skilled and effective workforce now and in the future. APITO achieves this by working in collaboration with industry employers, learning and training providers, education and academia, and other relevant partnership organizations. APITO has been established by businesses and employers in the industry to respond to its demands for a safe and effective workforce in line with its current and future business plans. Their focus is to deliver initiatives and activities which ensure a competent and safe workforce supply for industry, both now and in the future. With over 30 years of experience, APITO supports the oil and gas industry around the world, with offices in Aberdeen, Dubai, Kuala Lumpur and Houston. The oil and gas industry produces large quantities of flammable liquids and gases. And in order to reduce the risk of fire and explosion, there are numerous risk reduction measures in place. For example, maintaining the integrity of the plant and equipment to ensure the containment of hydrocarbons, implementing procedures to ensure that we operate in a safe manner and Training personnel in the correct use of equipment to ensure everyone remains safe. So when do we have to be wary of gas releases? And when should we carry out gas testing? Type in your answer and then select Submit. We often have to break containment of the hydrocarbons in order to carry out maintenance and modifications. Sometimes we have to enter confined spaces to carry out work. At times, we have to conduct hot work operations, and occasionally, we have accidental releases of hydrocarbons. On all of these occasions, we need the expertise of the authorized gas tester, known as the AGT, to help us to reduce the risk to as low as reasonably practicable, a LARP. Being an authorized gas tester, is not just another role that has been added to your job description. The AGT is a key player within the organization and their actions often save lives. As an AGT, you must have a good understanding of the legislation covering this subject in the country you are working in. For example, in the UK, you should have knowledge of the Health and Safety at Work Act, COSH, and FEAR. Lack of understanding or incorrect use of the gas testing equipment can lead to serious accidents or even fatalities. This course is designed to provide you with the information required to ensure that you have a thorough understanding of gas testing techniques applied in the workplace to enable you to carry out your job safely and successfully.
Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.